नमस्कार वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो लेक्चर द टॉपिक ऑफ दिस लेक्चर इज ऑल्टरनेटिव मीडिया एंड इंट्रोडक्शन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल सी द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस लेक्चर आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो यू विल बी एबल टू डिफाइन द ऑल्टरनेटिव मीडिया एक्सप्लेन द डिफरेंस बिटवीन मेन स्ट्रीम मीडिया एंड ऑल्टरनेटिव मीडिया एंड इन्यूमरेट द डिफरेंट ऑल्टरनेटिव मीडिया फॉर्म्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल अ क्वेश्चन दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इन द कंटेक्स ऑफ ऑल्टरनेटिव मीडिया वेन डू वी लुक फॉर ऑल्टरनेटिव इन एनी एरिया ऑफ अवर लाइफ वेन डू वी लुक फॉर ऑल्टरनेटिव द माई आंसर इज वेन द प्रजेंट वेन द एवेलेबल थिंग्स आर नॉट एड्रेसिंग ऑल द नीड्स ऑल द आवर नीड्स If the present or available options are not addressing, not fulfilling all the needs, then we look for alternatives. The same thing is applicable in the case of media also. When the dominant media, when the mainstream media do not fulfill all the needs of all the sections of society, then the need of alternative media emerges in this context we can divide media into two categories first is mainstream media and second is alternative media what is alternative media alternative media can be defined as a small scale independent grassroots media which encourages alternative discourse to highlight the issues concerning the marginalized section so there are few important terms small scale alternative media is a small scale media it's not a big media like mainstream it's a independent the many people are using the independent term they find ind independent term more suitable for the alternative media that's why they are using the term independent media so the alternative media is independent from the controls of corporate the controls of elite and th that the, the those elites may be from the corporates maybe the government from the control of government and maybe the other section so the alternative media is independent from the control of corporate and government third is grassroots alternative media provides the real pictures from ground the real pictures of related to certain marginalized section and this media highlights the alternative discourse and it also highlights the issues of marginalized sections which are not covered by the mainstream media so this is the definition of alternative media now we will discuss difference between mainstream media and alternative media while discussing the differences between mainstream media and alternative media we will highlight the important features of alternative media and with those features you can understand alternative media clearly with more clarity okay so now we will discuss the differences between mainstream media and alternative media alternative media differ from mainstream media in their different areas like requirement objectives content production distribution and business model we will see the differences between alternative media and mainstream media in all these fields one by one now the requirements how is alternative media different from mainstream media in the context of requirements so mainstream media it's a large scale media. but the alternative media is small scale media mainstream media needs huge resources it requires huge resources huge you know financial resources huge human resources also but alternative media 
very limited resource. Alternative media can manage with very limited resource. Mainstream media can be started or run or owned by corporates and governments only. Because mainstream media needs huge resources and only corporates and governments have that kind of resources. So only big companies and the governments can own mainstream media. But alternative media can be run by NGOs, can be run by the small groups, small groups of students, small groups of farmers, small groups of human rights activists, small groups of social workers, small groups of women. Because alternative media do not require huge resources so that the NGOs and small groups can start and run the alternative media. So these are the differences between mainstream media and alternative media on the basis of requirements. The second is objectives. What are the differences between the objectives of alternative media and mainstream media? The objectives of mainstream media is represent the elite perspective. That elite includes financial elites, big business houses, people with good purchasing power, political elites who are enjoying the political power. Then the second objective is profit making. We know that most of the mainstream media, if we, if we are talking in the context of our country, are from the corporate sector. So if the mainstream media is coming from the corporate sector, the profit making will be the main objective of that media. And if it is under the control of government, then promoting the government policies Promoting the government views, promoting the government opinions and creating the good image of government is the main objective of that mainstream media owned by government. Then mainstream media support the status quo. They always support the status quo. But when we will see the objectives of alternative media, these objectives are completely different those of the mainstream media, like represent the perspective of marginalized section and minorities. Alternative media is not representing the perspective of elites. They are representing the perspectives of marginalized sections and minorities. And these minorities may be the religious minorities, linguistic minorities, minorities on the basis of their habits minorities on the basis of their culture, minorities on the basis of their beliefs. Second objective, alternative media is not for the profit. The profit making is not their objective. And third is support the change in society. Alternative media always try to promote the change, to bring the change in society. That change may be in agriculture, that change, change may be in some cultural activities, that change may be in education, that change may be in the water uh, conservation or land conservation. So alternative media always stand for the change in the society. Now the third area where we will see the differences between mainstream media and alternative media that is very important and that is content. In the case of mainstream media, Content which serve the interest of dominant ideology of the system. So they are, you know, providing the content which promotes the interests of the dominant ideology. Dom dominant ideology is the ideology of the elite, is the ideology of the people of the section who is in power. The second is content that attracts those sections of society who have good purchasing power. We discussed that if the mainstream media is coming from the corporate sector, profit making is their main, is one of their main purposes, main objectives. 
that's why they want to attract the section of society who have good purchasing power because through them they can attract the advertisers also from where they are getting their major revenue so to attract the advertiser it's a it's a you know must to attract the section of the society who have good purchasing power because only they can purchase the goods and services of the advertisers then the third race of trp circulation and views decides the selection and presentation of the content in mainstream media if the content has capacity to attract the eyeballs that content will be selected for the television news channels if the content has you know capacity to attract the readers that will be selected in the newspapers if the content has capacity to attract more views more hits more traffic on the website that will be selected in the news website so the race of trp circulation and views finally decides the selection and presentation of the content but these features related to content are not applicable in the case of alternative media in alternative media content reflective alternative opinion and perspective content focused on the issues of marginalized sections the issues the perspectives the opinions the values of the marginalized sections and minorities are not covered by the mainstream media that's why alternative media focus on those issues those values those opinions and you will find those issues opinions and values in the content of alternative media no race for trp circulation and views focus on the usefulness and relevance of the content unlike the mainstream media in alternative media the selection and presentation of content is not decided on the criteria of trp circulation and views they are decided on the criteria of usefulness on the relevance if the content can develop can promote the positive changes in the audience of alternative media those content will be selected and presented so this is the difference between mainstream media and alternative media on the parameter of content now the production production is also very important aspect and here also you will find a lot of differences between mainstream media and alternative media in mainstream media high in professional production infrastructure human resources highly skilled professional programs have professional quality here quality is related with the you know standard of production not the standard of content we are talking about the production related quality so if you will see the content of mainstream media it is very good it has very good professional production quality because they have high end professional production infrastructure they have highly skilled professionals as a human resources that's why it's a natural to get a very good quality very good production quality in your content non participatory nature audience does not play active role in mainstream media there may be some you know uh, ways to send feedback and there is a limited participation but the audience doesn't play active role in the production of the content in mainstream media now we will see the production related features in alternative media alternative media have low end production infrastructure naturally they don't have resources they are running with very limited resources so they can't afford high end pro professional production infrastructure human resources lacks skilled professionals 
in mainstream media you will find the professionals professional cameraman professional editors professional you know anchors professional reporters professional producer professional engineers and all but in alternative media human resources are not highly skilled they are using the volunteers they are using the members of that part particular society or particular community for whom they are working just take an example and an alternative media uh, community video uh, about the issues of farmers in a remote district of bihar so they are using the people of those areas as a volunteer and they are giving them training also so they are semi skilled semi trained they are not the full time workers also like in a mainstream media the reporter is full time reporter they are getting salary from the media organization but in alternative media there is a concept of community reporter volunteer reporter they are doing different works for their livelihood but due to the dedication due to the you know attachment to the cause they are also giving some time they are also sacrificing devoting some time as a community reporter so the human resource of alternative media is not highly skilled and professional most of the programs in alternative media lack professional quality why the reasons are obvious because they have low end professional uh, production infrastructure and they don't have highly skilled human resource but the very important feature production related feature of alternative media is it's a participatory in nature production of alternative media is participatory in nature audience plays very active role in production i discussed it when i was talking about the human resource that the volunteers coming from that particular society the uh, coming from the target audience the target society they are playing very important role in production of content so the production of alternative media is participatory in nature and this is participatory production participatory content is one of the core values of alternative media now distribution in the area of distribution mainstream media has mass distribution because it's a mass media they have millions and millions of viewers they have millions and millions of readers millions and millions circulation of newspaper they have millions and millions of hits on their websites so huge traffic on their websites but in the case of alternative media distribution is limited if you are running a community newspaper your distribution is limited to some villages to some blocks or maybe one district or few districts so it's a very limited distribution if you are running a community radio this is also alternative media again your uh, distribution is limited to few kilometers okay but internet has emerged as the booster a big booster for alternative media because internet broke the distribution related limitations of alternative media nowadays you can start a website it's a very cheaper it's a affordable you can put your community newspapers on the website and that can reach to the people across the world not only the country across the world you can share your community newspaper through whatsapp through facebook pages through twitter so you have capacity to reach to the vast audience also just take an example of a community radio just suppose there is a community radio in a mithila region of bihar and they are promoting the mithila mathili songs mathili literature and mathili culture so as a community radio their broadcast limitations are to few kilometers only but they can go online they can put their programs online on websites they can develop a website and in that case people who love or who are from the mithila and who love mathili language mathili songs and mathili literature 
sitting in US, even in UK, even in America, even in uh, Africa, even in Australia, can be your listeners, can access your programs, can support your cause, can support your uh, community radio station also. So internet has emerged as a big savior for the alternative media. Now the business model, it is also important because financial sustainability is required for any initiative, any initiative. Otherwise you can't exist. So the business model of mainstream media maximize the profit, highly profit centric. They are maybe funded by the government. As we discussed earlier, that mainstream media can be owned by the corporates. In that case, they are highly profit centric and they want to maximize their profit. But if it is government owned, they are getting funding from the governments, highly dependent on advertisers. They are highly dependent on the advertisers because uh, they are the source of revenue for mainstream media owned by the private sector. Corporate culture turned the news into a commodity. For the private sector, for the corporate, the news is nothing different than a toothpaste, a soap, a bath soap, or a shoes. They are taking news as a commodity, create it and sell it to make benefit to make profit. But in the case of alternative media, if you will see the business model of alternative media, business model which supports the objective of the alternative media, alternative media can opt only those business models which supports the objectives of alternative media. That is very important. Otherwise, you will not survive. Otherwise, you will not be able to fulfill your duties and to achieve your objectives. Non-profit centric, but financial sustainability is required. The business model of alternative media can't be profit centric. That is not so. But financial sustainability is required. Otherwise, how will you exist? How will you continue? So these are the differences on the basis of business model between mainstream media and alternative media. Now we will discuss the different alternative media forms, different forms of alternative media. Here you can see the some important forms of alternative media, that is the folk media. We all know about folk media, it's a traditional media and in the case of India, we have a rich tradition of folk media, like puppetry show, like uh, street theater, like uh, Notanki in Uttar Pradesh, like Tamasha in Maharashtra. Through these folk media, we can raise those issues. We can raise issues of the marginalized section, issues of minorities, which are completely ignored by the mainstream media. So folk media is one of the alternative media forms. Second is small scale newspapers. We can start, we can run a small scale newspapers. Khabar Lahariya is a very famous and successful example of small scale newspapers. And it can be distributed, you know, within a limited area. But with the help of digital platform, you can circulate it to a large number of population, to a large number of readers also. And that newspaper can, you know, uh, highlight the issues of uh, that uh, particular area. It may be agriculture related issues. It may be, you know, uh, the different issues related to government schemes and other issues which are completely neglected by the national media, by the regional media. It means by the mainstream media. Then the community radio, community video, sorry. Then the community video. In community video, we are providing training to the volunteers. We can train them how to shoot with a consumer equipment, with a consumer camera, with their smartphones, how to do basic editing with the open source software, 
or with the different mobile apps. They can shoot, they can make programs on the issues related to their areas. It may be agriculture, it may be water conservation, it may be government scheme, it may be education and all. And they can distribute it through community screening. And nowadays, internet provides social media also. They can be uploaded on the website, they can be uploaded through the blogs, they can be uploaded on the Facebook pages, they can be uploaded with the, on the, through the, they can be distributed through the WhatsApp and other internet based media tools also. So community screening as a traditional one and with the help of internet that can be circulated among the members of that particular community or the related authorities or the related politicians or the policy makers. Then fourth is community radio. It's a very well established, well planned type of form of alternative media. Government has, you know, proper guidelines to establish. Government is providing licenses also. But it has also a, uh, you know, a limited area as a broadcast area, but it can also use the benefits of digital platforms. And the new media platforms. We discussed new media platforms. We discussed about the social media. We discussed about the websites that can uh, be, you know, the booster for the alternative media. We will discuss all these forms, especially community radio and new media platforms in separate lectures. Okay. So these are few main alternative media forms. Now it's time to conclude. In this video, we discussed definition of alternative media difference between mainstream media and alternative media and different forms of alternative media. I hope you found this lecture useful for you. Thanks for watching.